looks like a UFO landed on top of that. <laughs> yeah. They might leave without us, which is, I don't I mean, it's a deal. So Marie, you'll know that sometimes rangers are nice and sometimes they are not nice. With our five kids, two who are autistic, we set out to experience God's creations by visiting all the national parks. And this is our family's adventure on the best hike at Mesa Verde National Park. The best hike for kids, that is. This is Cedar Tree Tower. I love how close it is to the road. You don't have to hike to it. And you don't need a ticket. You can just drive your car and park right next to it. Look at that. It's awesome. Oh, it's great here too. It's like wheelchair, wheelchair accessible. You can get really up and close and see what it's like inside. All these cubes. So there you go. So my riddle is, you're guessing a word right now. If you say my, wait, what's one word that if you say it, there's less of? And at the end of the video, I'll tell you the answer. Are you ready to go on this hike? Yeah. What are you spitting about? <laughs> All right, we might miss the tour because it's 11.30 right now, 11.29, and we didn't realize that we have to walk a mile from the parking lot to the trailhead. Yeah, we do need to run. And we might leave without us, which is I don't I mean, I do. See what happens here. My oldest just takes over and tells me what to do. And I do exactly what he tells me to. We're for sure get someone there. Mom, you just run ahead. I'll just run ahead? Yeah, and you can tell them that we're coming. Okay. Can someone hold this? Okay, let's go. Man, there's still like a freaking half a mile left. stepped on it. So this longhouse tour is kind of different because we got the safety two minute spiel up at the top, the trailhead, and then just like letting us go. So there's gonna be ranges down at the bottom in three different sections where we can ask questions. What do you think about that? Tiring. Tiring. Are we ready for lunch already? Yeah. You know, we can't actually eat down there. And lunch, we're having barbecue chicken. So, yeah, that'll be good, huh? Daddy's gonna have barbecue some chicken. So we will go, though, um, and barbecue some chicken after this hike. I can see why this is a little more open. And I ran all the way here because I thought that we would miss it. The small. Not that type of tour. It turns out it's not the type of tour. Yeah. And I see there's some nice views. People say that these ancient dwellings were put in these specific areas for, like, to help them be out of the weather or kind of be in a good strategic place in case enemies came. You know what I think? I think it was the view. Now it's time to climb the epic ladders of Mesa Verde and get an even better view of these ancient structures. And now we get to take the kids up the ladders. 
The three older kids go up first, and Adam takes Ezra and Simon. What a dad. But you know, I've got to carry the camera. Apparently someone was sitting on the wall. I wonder who it was. I wonder if it was one of my children. I'm going up this ladder. We're going up. This is so cool. And then we get to the top. Each kid has their own opinions and fun details and insights about this unique place. There's like a blue little tree that's good around. Blue little... Oh yeah, it's kind of a different one, huh? This is interesting. I wasn't expecting this. Popping out of like this desert, right over here, you have like this desert ish environment, and then you go over here, it's just like you're in the rainforest. Cool. What's that? So they said it was like a gathering place, like for religious things. So it's kind of cool, huh? Well, you you guys come up the other way? Yeah. That's fine. I don't think my wife's going to make it if there's ladders. <laughs> well, it's nice to have this option. Yeah. Yeah. How would you even get inside the rooms? They actually have a, um, they would have a hole at the top, and then they have a ladder where you climb down. Just seeing how, like, there's those rocks there that are, like, kind of being used as the roof for that building. Yeah, that is cool. They built around those rocks over there. Cool how they also made the houses with Yeah, how would they even go? Well, they were all connected at one time. They went super high. That's what the ranger told me. She said that they were really high, and they were some of the highest buildings, most likely at that time period, at least as far as we know. So it's kind of cool. So there could be even more, actually. But they stopped excavating. Like underneath? Yeah. Like oh. here, like here down here, probably there's some more kivas and stuff, they said. Wait, so this is all under like a mountain, and then we just dug it out? So Marie, you'll know that sometimes rangers are nice, and sometimes they are not nice. What do you mean by... That one down there is not nice. He's mean, he's yelling at people a lot. <laughs> oh. This trail has a lot of steps, but most of it's paid, so it's not too difficult. It's really an amazing family hike. I love seeing these kids' interactions, helping each other along the trail. Ezra, we went to a really cool place. What do you think about that? Huh? Is it fun? Is it fun? So my riddle is, you're guessing a word right now. If you say my, wait, what's one word that if you say it, there's less of? The answer to my real is silence. Silence, like the word? Yeah. So when you say the word, there's less of it because you're talking. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Now it's time to head back. By the end of this hike, the baby is super tired. Well, okay, he's asleep. We get the veggies out of the cooler and start up the grill for some barbecue chicken. Yeah. Of our awesome chef. We got three more pieces of chicken left. And this baby wants some. We just finished Longhouse. And now we are full of yummy barbecue chicken and snacks and we are tired because it was hot 
and we just realized that some of the kids, including the baby, have sunburns, send berms, but Mark really wants to go to Spruce Tree House, and it's one of the only ones, Spruce Tree House and Step House are the only ones where you can go into the Pueblo without a guided tour, without a ticket, but I think just Daddy and Mark are going to go. They're going to go run it. It's really short, so it'll be fun to go see. Sadly, the spruce tree house is closed for those who want to get up close. But Adam, Mark, and Marie got a great view. What a cool place. I mean, look at those oddly shaped windows. And it looks like this place was a popular place to settle in and build, even in little places. It's so fascinating to think about the people, the culture, the religion, what it was like to live back then. You can only imagine. It's been a long and eventful day, and I, for one, am excited to get back in the RV. This delicious meal Mommy made after a big day at Mesa Verde. Yeah. Pork chops. Veggies. Do you have a big day today? Join us next week as mom and dad go on two different hikes and the kids decide which hike is the best. I'm usually not very competitive, honestly, but my husband is, so I kind of want to win.